Hey all everybody, Haku here with my live reaction and review for Boku no Hero Academia, or My Hero Academia, chapter one or 165, I almost said 156, but 165, and uh, we're continuing on with the test that Yoarash, Bakugo, Kami, and uh, Todoroki are going through, which is to soothe the hearts of and inspire the, uh, the bratty kids. So, let's uh, see how they end up doing it, let's see what they figure out. My Hero Academia, Chapter 165, Win the Bratz's, win the Bratz's Hearts. Uh, their abilities are all, are all top tier, but they're not meshing well with these problem children. Are they doomed to fall? Are they doomed to fail? I like this, uh, this cover art here for the chapter. Like I said last week, I, I have had a lot of best girls. The evolution of my best girl through the series has been quite the thing to be called to behold. I've always liked Ashido and Asui, but they've never really they've never really been best girl. It was like it went from um, from Midnight, who was my best girl for the longest time, and then eventually I was like, you know, maybe Yaoyorozu, and then eventually after that I was like, you know, maybe it's actually um, Jiro, and then I sort of moved on where I was like, you know, man, I think it was Mandalay. I was like, she's pretty cute too, but I, I don't know. Is, does she beat Jiro? And then, just after a while, after all that, I was still like, you know, I think Midnight might be the best. And then I eventually settled on Toga, and I'm like, oh yeah, Toga's the best. And now here comes Gami. There are just so many great female characters that uh, it turns into having a lot of contenders for a best girl. So uh, now we have Kami who just from one chapter I find her hilarious. I love the character. Give them back damn it. Those ain't toys and we have a roaring Bakugo. We won't let things go according to your plan. You should or should you really be letting those get stolen so easily? <laughs> I love concerned Todoroki in the background. Uh, they're dangerous so I left them unfastened asshole. So, I know our task is to, like, win their hearts, but I low-key have no idea what to do, fam. <laughs> and the one girl is hissing <laughs> at Kami. Oh my god, I freaking love Kami. Uh, uh-oh, folks, the expressions on the te or on Team Gobi's faces are telling me that they have no idea what to do next. I freaking love Present Mike, too, he's one of my favorite characters. Look, I don't particularly mind or anything, but this is supposed to be a training course, so just don't go too crazy, says Mara. You got it, fam. <laughs> he has developed the fam. I love it. Like, the teachers are some of my favorite characters in Boku no Hero Academia. I already said I loved Midnight. Uh, my favorite characters, Aizawa is probably one of my all-time favorite characters. I love uh, Torino and All Might as well. However, it sounds like they have no idea what to do. What is your desire, miss? Yes. And also she's tearing up the teacher. The lower grades of elementary school are a very important time for the formation of the personalities. And because the differences in everyone's quirks have such a large effect on this, we provide counseling and support them however we can in hopes of fostering a healthy state of mind, but unfortunately, counseling alone has its limits. The children in this class have completely closed their hearts off from us, and I know full well that I am the one to be held accountable for that. However, it is my hope that by interacting with all of you who are striving to achieve your dreams, it will help the children return to their pure, earnest selves. Like I said last week, teacher's pretty cute. There is no time for us to be acting insensitive then. There is a person who, here who needs our help, says Todoroki. In other words, we just gotta get along with all the kids, right? Challenge accepted, Yorash. <laughs> and Bakugo just grinding his teeth in the background. I love the char I love the character dynamics between uh and I think he even mentioned it last week. I love the character dynamic between Todoroki and Yorash. And uh then throwing Bakugo in there too just makes it even better. Let's get this damn babysitting job over with so we can join in with the training over there. And we see the others look like they're fighting off uh, gang orca and such. And gang, or gang orca's little minions and whatnot. Oh my, Bakugo wasted no time with that insensitive remark. How will UA's own powder keg approach this? This is what happens when the teacher fails to carry out their role as leader of the kids. Thanks to that, the brats have stolen the initiative. Oh, it just kind of happened before I knew it. That ain't what this is. 
There's definitely a boss among the kids who sets the mood for the rest of the class, and we've got to find him. And, once we do, we'll smash him until they're broken, hang him up as an example, and make everyone stone him. We'll instill in the little brat just how diminutive of an existence they really are. That's the most effective method. So, we just gotta get it. We just gotta get along with the kids, right, Yorash? <laughs> I love how Bakugo started out really, really smart and then devolved into stoning. Buk <clears throat> then we have present Mike. Bakugo has stated his uh, unique point of view. <laughs> the teacher looks so worried. She's so cute. Which one of you punks is the strongest? Come out and fight me, he says. <laughs> and he's already doomed to fail. Your violent way of thinking is so outdated. You must have had a terrible upbringing. He knows about your upbringing. So, uh, this kid, I guess, is probably the instigator, just sitting back watching on as the class de devolves into chaos. Um, it may be impertinent of me to say this, but is this really going to be alright, says the teacher? No worries, he's just doing a little sideshow, is all. Smike. Delinquents are so out of fashion. Well, they should be, damn it. And <laughs> it's a game you might go. Everyone knows that the fast track to becoming best friends is just to get to know one another. This is Yorash. It's so great. So who wants to be a hero? Raise your hand. Looks like the kid from Shiketsu is the next up to bat. Entertaining children is more than likely Inasa's forte. His vigorous spirit livens up those around him. Now then, we should be in for a good show, says uh, Shishigarash. Was that his name? I don't remember his name totally. Uh, this boy sure is easily influenced. He start he started commentating too, thinks the teacher from uh, Shiketsu. Me, heroes are super cool, and I'm really strong. Okay, he says. I see. I want to be one too. It's all about heat, passion, and overflowing hot-bloodedness, you know? I have no idea what he's talking about, but it looks like it's working. Heroes are supposed to protect everyone's smiles, right? Do you really think that little boys and girls who could cause trouble for their teachers can become great heroes? Uh, no, says the one kid. That's right, so in that case, but then that means you can't become one either because you increase the teachers and the public safety people's workloads by making them hold e these extra training courses. This is the kid. The, crap, you're right. The kid just completely demolishes Yoadash. <laughs> they start laughing. <laughs> She should get Ash's face. Uh, that's brilliant. I have no right to be preaching to you kids from my high horse. I'm sorry, he says, bowing to them. He's heroically pure, that's for sure. <laughs> Present Mike. These kids are more than twi or more twisted than we thought, huh? Says uh, Kami. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes you need violence to put them in their place, says <laughs> Bakugo. That's where you're wrong, Bakugo, says uh, Todoroki. Huh? That's how I was raised, you know. There's definitely a better way of doing things. <laughs> oh, that's so, he thinks. And what's this a flashback to? Oh, Todoroki and, uh, in the hallway and stuff, when he listened to all of them. Alright, go ahead and show me how you do things then. Because he knows about, uh, his, how he was raised. Sure, he said. I've entrusted everything to Shoto, says Endeavor. When I was 20 years old, I had already climbed my way up to the number two spot. And because I climbed that far, I understood it almost immediately, that I would never be able to reach the summit. If all I wanted was the title, I could have foolishly smiled uh, to everyone like you and just played the crowd pleaser. But I wanted to be stronger than anyone else. This isn't like you at all, says All Might. Just shut up and answer me. What's well, a symbol of peace, huh? thinks All Might. To be honest, I have no idea what to say. I simply believed that this country was in need of a symbol, and I ran at full speed chasing my goal. A powerful light, it can serve as a beacon of hope for the people, and a warning for the villains. I swore to myself that I would become that light, and kept running until I made it that far. The people out, in, out on the street were always making such anxious faces, no matter how many heroes there were out there, crime would not decrease. The people were afraid, much more than they are even now. I ignored the kindness of the people around me and pushed most of them away. That's the path I chose. And he remembers, um, Sir Night Eye. Your former sidekick, huh? 
endeavor. I know full well the kind of situation you're in and what the world is saying about you. There are many people out there who compare the two of us to one another, but you and I are different. There's no need for you to follow in my footsteps and become the same type of symbol I aim to become. You simply need to find your own way of doing things, and there's no need to rush it. Alrighty then, looks like he's up next. Yeah, have present Mike. My way of doing things, says Todoroki. He's somewhere in between cool and composed and burning with passion. Todoroki Shoto. Shoto! Endeavor starts cheering him on. And then all the, uh, girl kids start swooning over him. A hot guy showing fatherly love. This is so precious, says Kami. Not good at this rate. I'll sink to her level. Ignore her. Ignore her. How is he planning on closing the distance? This will be a sight to see. He walks up to the kids. Five peepee man's boring. Just leave him alone. Let's mess with the big gorilla instead. First, I need to show them what kind, what kind of person I am. Everything I say will fall on deaf ears until I do. And then he looks back at uh, Endeavor for a moment, looks back forward. I'm not 5 PP man. I'm a UA student and aspiring hero, and my name is Shoto. My father is Endeavor, the number one hero, and I've always resented him. So, I set my sights on becoming a hero in order to get back at him. I didn't mesh well with my classmates, and it's like he's reading directly from his character introduction page. Boring, all the students say at the same time. And they hate him. Sorry. You gave it your best shot, Todoroki. This is your rush. Man, you're hopeless. Hey, so it seems like the three of you have been trying to do things the normal way this whole time, but wouldn't it be way easier and simpler to just show them who we are with our quirks? This is Kami. I was just about to say that, says Bakugo. For real? Or <laughs> for real though? What a coincidence. There's still a large gap between us and the kids, actually. It seems like they're getting their kicks by giving us trouble. For our attack, shouldn't we be trying to fill in the gap? We just need to dive right in. We'll demonstrate our skills and then they'll see what we're really made of. They're talking about something. Hehe, <laughs> we already know. Mommy and Daddy and all the people on TV have been saying it. Can we really rely on these heroes, they say? And we know. We've heard them say it over and over. Ah, children, no, that's dangerous. That our generation will be better. And they all activate their quirks. This one, this one gun mouth kid. <laughs> that face. Okay, so we're going to have a battle. Children versus um, the four of them. <laughs> this will be fun. Oh well, let's go back through and discuss it really quick before we end all this off. I do enjoy the, uh, I like this cover page a lot with the four, uh, the four in the, um, extra lessons. I've actually come to like this, uh, quite a lot week to week so far. <laughs> Starting off, the first thing I thought was great, mostly it's a, a lot of great comedy bits. I love Todoroki's worried face just a little in the background. Should you really be letting those get stolen so easily? I love that. Then Kami's absolutely great, great, this kid hissing at her. I love her and this, I love this kid that was like hissing at her and anno annoying her too. Oh my gosh. The interactions between them are hilarious. Um, the teacher explains the way things are with quirks in society. The kids need counseling to help them out because of all that, but it's not enough. The teacher's super cute. Uh, just throwing that out there. Um, so, Bakugo is up first. He gets super incredibly violent. Uh, he, he had a good point of view going, but then got super violent with it, and, um, kind of doesn't work for him. So, uh, then Yoadash is up next. He just tries to be friends with everyone and uh, talk to them like you would normally talk to kids, but the kid completely destroys him. <laughs> Yoadash gets completely demolished. Then Todoroki's up next. We get the uh, conversation between Endeavor and All Might, and I really like it for both of their characters, and it's I like what it's setting up where All Might's like, become your own symbol of peace. Become whatever kind of symbol you want. It does make me worry that he would become a symbol of fear, but either way. Um, as in, follow the law or you're going to get messed up, but either way. I love every time uh, Todoroki does something, he just screams, Shoto, just cheering him on. All the little girls swooning over Todoroki was funny too. But uh, he basically just uh, bores the kids to death with his life story. 
<laughs> the interactions between Yoadash and Todoroki are so great, though. So, uh, then Kami says, you know, why don't we just show them our quirks and stuff? They'll, it'll make them think we're cool and all that. But all the kids go crazy and uh, activate their quirks. And I like the way they brought it up. They're like, you know, behind closed doors, our parents say that, can we really trust the heroes on TV? They say, can we really trust the heroes? They've been uh, propagandized, basically. So, uh, yeah. We're going to see how this all works out. Looking at some of their quirks, this looks like it's going to be really cool, actually. I mean, I know they're probably not going to beat the hell out of children, but this they could have a cool little fight here. Okay, so yeah, that was a really fun chapter. I enjoyed it. Uh, like if you did like the video, I guess, comment down there to tell me what you thought of this chapter, what you thought of my thoughts on it. Subscribe for more Boku no Hero Academia, much more on the channel. The manga, of course, I'm covering, plus the anime when it comes back. And in general, I'm covering a bunch of light novels, anime, and manga. And uh, I will be covering more anime for Winter 2018. I just made a video discussing the anime for Winter 2018, if you want to check that out. Uh, but like I said, like, comment, subscribe, follow on Twitter if you want. I can try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel. Or if you want to link to our Discord server to talk with me, more of us there, then uh, just ask and I'll give you one. That's it. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.